Hello everybody. Today I'm here with some more Disney Sources Arena and finally we're going to go and showcase the March Hare, who I got all the way to gear tier 8, and star levels 5, not 6, 5, and the White Rabbit, which also is at gear tier 8, but only at star level 4. We're almost at level 5, but I kind of just want to get this video out. Uh, so I had the resources to get them both to 8, which I was pretty surprised by, but I figured I might as well do it now. Since I do plan on trying to get them to 8 for the event, uh, to get Alice all the way up as well. Um, but as you can see, my coins and my gems are really suffering right now. <laughs> because of me trying to get my uh, Snow White team all the way up. So that's kind of sad. If anything comes out that I need gems for, I, I can't buy it. But, because uh, I'm really going to need to use the gems to just buy more coins, because that's a pretty important resource that I have absolutely none of right now. So here, here, we're going to obviously bring in, oh yeah, we should do a, we should do one of the new costumes as well. Kind of forgot about that. We could do, uh, Where's Cobra Bubbles at? We can do him. We're not bringing Dopey. Uh, we can... I don't know. We can just bring in Hero. So... This is the hardest level of the side campaign, so let's see how we do. They should be somewhat strong. They're not at star level 7 yet, but gear tier 8 should be pretty, pretty good. And then I upgraded most of their skills as well. But I really don't know what they do whatsoever. I haven't played as them at all. And then we'll check out Cobra Bubbles 2, who will be pretty weak in comparison because I never really leveled them up. But we gotta check out that new costume. The I don't know if it's Hawaiian shirt. I forget what is the name of it is. But just vacation Cobra Bubbles, maybe. Alright. So we can just start off by... Getting this first round done pretty quickly. And we can make... I don't know, we can make Cobra Bubbles go. So he's up first. He just does some damage to the opponent. 100% bonus damage to higher Cobra's... Wait, the higher Cobra's current health percent is. So he's got a pretty high health percent, so that should be good. And then... They have a helpful effect. Grant one magic to stare down. Here is stare down. Purge one random helpful effect on the target opponent, inflict intimidate for one turn. So that would actually get rid of that. We might do that one. Also, this one also cleanses one oh, random harmful effect on target teammate. To get gain speed beater equal to their missing health percent. Alright, let's just do this one. And then, okay, so we have the white rabbit up first. Bunch of damage, 30% chance to reduce target speed meter by 10%. Help, help, assistance. Perform the following on self and adjacent teammates. Restore 5% of their max health. Grant or extend haste for one turn, up to max for three, and one counterattack. Call adjacent teammates to assist on random opponents. <coughs> and then your majesty, members of the jury, loyal... Inflict or extend slow and two random harmful effect for one turn, up to a max of three turns on the target and one random opponent. This target has haste, this ability FX two additional random opponents. I might hold off on that one. This one on the turn start, deal 10% speed meter from the opponent with the highest speed meter and grant the same amount of all teammates with haste. No teammates has haste, this character gains haste for one turn. So that might have been why he went first, I'm not sure. But uh, I, I think I might just do this one. Alright, and then this will probably kill him. Nope, not quite. So we've got the March Hare, clean cup, clean cup, move down, deal between that range of damage to target opponent, repeat the attack three to six times on random opponents. I wonder if it would just continue to hit the same one if there's only one or not. Uh, 20 cent chance to inflict or send blind for one turn per hit, up to a max of three. You must have a cup of tea, perform the following on a target teammate, restore some health to the target teammate, cleanse one harmful effect, grant 10% bonus speed meter to any one Alice in Wonderland teammate. 
Repeat this ability two to four times on random teammates. If Mad Hatter is a teammate, grant him harmful immunity for one turn. So he's always just like repeating his actions over and over again. Bad ones, bad ones, bad ones. Deal that damage to target opponents and spread two harmful effects on the targets to adjacent opponents. Inflict one vulnerable on the target opponent. We might as well just use the smaller one for now. Yes, it only attacked once. So we can do, well, we don't have any harmful effects. I don't know if I want to do that one. <coughs> and then what was this one again? Oh yeah, we can do that one here. That's a lot of stuff. That's pretty nice. Uh, that won't really help us too much. I mean, if I do this, what does it do? It increases the speed meter, right? I mean, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so... Just take out the guy in the back. And her, why not? Okay, let's do the... Let's do the hammer. Oh. Got a little zoom in action. Then... Just runs right through him. That's pretty cool. I mean, we have not taken any damage so far, and we're... Fully shielded up. It's going great. That's uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Zeus should be the one I should be going for. Uh, yeah, no one really needs health, so I guess I'll just do this one. So, yeah, he just keeps going. That's interesting. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good for a basic attack, I would say. But, we did take some damage now. Uh, hmm. Now we can do our health thing. I should get it again. Okay, maybe I'll do it on him so he's not... He's not stunned anymore. Yeah, he just does it over and over again. <laughs> hmm. This is a strange team so far. <laughs> so maybe... Take out the Cheshire Cat. Oh, I didn't kill him? Huh. Well, now I will. <laughs> Uh-oh. White Rabbit. Getting a little damaged. Let's see. Well, yeah, she's taunting me. I can't do anything else. But I do get the opportunity to attack other characters, considering white, uh, March Hare's crazy move there. Uh, yeah, we can do that. I didn't even, like, purge anything. I... Oh, I thought I would get to choose... Well, anyways, uh, there we go. We finally got Miguel done. Maybe take out Sally? Not quite. There we go. Let's see how much this can do for us. That was a pretty considerable amount of damage. Okay, not compared to Sean Yu, but still. I should definitely get some crystals on those guys too, I kind of forgot about that. But yeah, I mean, we got three stars. It's nice. Uh, I guess we can just go back here. Of course they're gonna seem good because they're at level 8. I don't think they're as good as they can be because I know some of their skills uh, are tied to some of the other Alice in Wonderland characters, so probably keep that in mind as well. But I mean... The March Hare seems to be able to get a pretty considerable amount of damage out, which is good for a support character. And then... I don't know how I feel about White Rabbit, actually. Maybe I should look over his skills again. Uh, I mean, yeah, this one actually did do a pretty good amount of stuff to the characters it inflicts it on. We can, we can try to kill Manticore right off the bat, maybe. 
I feel like that should do more damage though. Like I've got him at a pretty a pretty high thing. I guess I guess he's not at star level seven yet, but it feels like they're going for a big hit and it's not as big as it should be. But I don't know. Let's have March Hare go again. We can get some of this done. Yeah, that move is pretty great for a basic, I would say. Because it does it like up to six times. It can only do it three times though, which is kind of sad when that happens. But yeah, that... Oh, well that, I guess it only works if there are multiple characters. So I guess that is one flaw, is that if there's only one character on screen, it's only going to hit once. I guess it's something to keep in mind, but it's good for big groups of characters. I guess I never looked at March Hare's passive, because he just did like a happy birthday thing. I don't really know what that is. Yeah, what is that? Whenever a teammate is conflicted with a harmful effect by an opponent, 25% chance to flip that harmful effect, copy two helpful effects on that teammate to all teammates. And if Matt Hatter, see if Matt Hatter's on my team, then I do a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we got some healing stuff going on now. Uh, yeah, we can do this because it should hit at least three characters, right? We'll see, now he's hitting the one multiple times, so I don't really know how it works. Whatever. I should read that skill again, because I thought I understood it. Maybe... So I beat the attack three to six times on random opponents. Right, but only did it once that one time. So I don't understand why. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this is probably my best bet. And then I'll kill like two of them. But yeah, I, I mean, it makes me interested to see how the rest of the characters are going to work. Because the last big team we had was the Snow White characters, where they're all virtually the same. So it'll be fun to have five characters who are actually unique and do different things, you know? <clears throat> That's what I'm most excited about, personally. And then Cobra Bubbles is actually a pretty good character as well. Um, I kind of slept on him, but I know he can be pretty helpful, and I've, I've fought against some that are pretty good. We aren't even that, like, well leveled up. They just are really good at helping the team and getting a lot of damage out at the same time. Uh, but yeah, this will be my last battle, I guess. Next time I'll be showcasing Tigger and the other character I just unlocked that I can't remember the name of. Like, I can't remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure I had another character unlocked somewhat recently. Oh, I think it's Kuzco, right? So it should be them next, and then I'll probably showcase, like, Shark Maui with them. I can't remember if I have, I've missed any other uh, costumes since then or not. But it should be fun as well. That was pretty pointless. I don't know why I did that. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's just get, like, Sean Yu and get, get, get to go again. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty perfect for us. And then White Rabbit is the boss here. I like how we're getting to see a bunch of different characters and how they face against these guys. Like, we've got most of the, uh, Hercules team here. Oh, she's taunting. Come on. Come on. Although, what's his name? Miguel seems to be like a staple in all these for some reason. Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of schmoving on me. Maybe I should use my heal thing. Yeah, I think I should put White Rabbit somewhere else as well, in terms of where they're standing, because I think that one 
uh, that his second skill only works with adjacent characters, and you can see he's always just going towards Cobra Bubbles. So I should probably get him near some more characters, maybe even put him in the middle. She keeps a bow. Oh, that's why they're evading. They evaded every single one? You have to be kidding. What are the odds of that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah. So calls it adjacent teammates to assist on random opponents. And also this affects adjacent uh, uh, teammates, but I feel like it should work with Sean Yu as well. It's, it hasn't yet. Yeah, so I was just going to him, but I guess that means I should be putting him more in the middle. I will keep that in mind. Yeah, there we go. So thanks for watching my showcase of the March Hare and the White Rabbit and Cobra Bubbles' new costume. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll continue to showcase the other Alice in Wonderland characters as well as the other ones that I've unlocked. Like I said, I'll probably do Tigger and Kuzco next time. So I hope you look forward to that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.